Evening everyone and I hope you're keeping well. Lovely to be with you and thanks very much for making a date with me tonight on this Thursday evening and we're on the 17th of November. Great pleasure to be with you. I've got three horses for you all running on Friday, all free of charge and they're all running at Dundalk over there on the big all weather meeting taking place on Friday night in Ireland. Uh, 12 to 1, 11 to 1 and 25 to 1 are the three prices of these respective horses and without any more ado I'm going to get on and uh, give them to you right now. I'm going to start first of all with the six o'clock at Dundalk and a horse I've been following for the last three or four runs to be honest with you and I'm determined to uh, get a win out of this beauty and uh, I just know he's got a lot more form to his name than he's actually showing uh, on the track uh, at the moment and uh, I do believe tomorrow could be the day that this gelding shows it. It's number 12 anyway, it's called Caesar's Comet and it's trained by James McCauley over there in Ireland and runs off a mark of 47 and that's £2 lower than it's ever run before. It's on a really low mark now and if ever it's going to win, it's going to win, well I think tomorrow because it really does look uh, to have an outstanding chance even though it's 25 to 1. I know that the form of the horse doesn't really seem to show anything at all. Four duck eggs on the trot, uh, all on the all weather. But uh, there's no doubt about it in my mind whatsoever. Five duck eggs actually, naught, 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 naught. Uh, four of those runs have been at uh, Dundalk itself. 14 to 1, 16 to 1, 10 to 1 and 16 to 1. At the time before that it rang at Laytown when Chris Hayes rode it. Indeed Chris Hayes has rode it three out of the last five times it's ran. It's uh, been replaced by apprentice Robert Worty tomorrow, claims a valuable £4, which is really going to enhance the chances of this eight-year-old. And uh, I'm going to take a punt on it, popping up tomorrow at a real big price. I know the horse, as I say, is better than it's shown so far. And uh, it's, you know, this sort of race is well within its capabilities of such a low mark of 47 and the £4 claimer on top to boot. So number 12, Caesar's Comet. It's in the six o'clock at Dundalk. It's around about 20 or 25 to one to your money. And that looks terrific value. And uh, they're paying out first four, first five. I'm just going to quick look while I'm online with you, if you don't mind. I'll just turn away from the screen. Must apologize for that. Just get you the right price on this one. Just uh, me moving in. 25 to one with William Hills paying first four. Uh, six to one to be in the frame. Looks terrific to me. And uh, I'm going to be on each way, obviously. 25 to one. Uh, number 12. It's called Caesar's Comet. I know the horse is ready to strike and tomorrow could be the day. Huge price that. Uh, not without a chance. Absolutely definite. So uh, number 12, Caesar's Comet, 6 o'clock at Dundalk, is your first bet on Friday uh, from myself, yours truly. Don't forget, if you've not uh, called this service before, if you've not tuned in, I am online nightly at 6pm for the following day's racing. And uh, you can subscribe to the channel, obviously, just click the subscribe button if you want to get an alert sent to you when I'm online. That's not a bad thing to do as well. Go to the 7.30 for the second bet of the day and uh, at Dundalk. And number two here is called No Speed Limit. Another big price one, 12 to 1 to your money, uh, not without a chance. Runs off a low mark of 62. Now, it was off a mark of 67 uh, just uh, around about a month ago when it ran on the all weather uh, at Dundalk. Uh, that, that day, come 11th of 14, didn't have much of a chance, to be honest with you, because uh, Luke McAteer, who was on the horse, uh, took a wide berth. It was really, uh, well, had no chance from the, the, the sort of uh, ride it was given. Uh, and I think that Wayne Lorden, who's on board tomorrow, uh, is going to be a lot, lot more sensible, I think, in that run last time out. As I said, it was in an apprentice run uh, last time. Tonight, or uh, tomorrow, I should say, on Friday, Wayne Lorden rides. And I think no speed limits, a horse that's got uh, a race in it off a mark of 62. Uh, it was off a mark of 70 in September. Joey Sheridan rode it that day. That was at Dundalk, 8th of 14. I think this race is well worth winning. 47 to 65 rated horses. I say he's well within his grasp. 
it's a big prize 12 to 1 but as I say it doesn't put me off one iota uh, what we're doing here is betting horses that are coming down the handicap coming down in grade last time out it ran in a 47 to 70 race off a mark of 67 it's gone down a grade and come down two pounds and also the horse has been replaced as I say from an apprentice uh, to Wayne Lorden. Incidentally, where's the visor tomorrow, this horse? And last time I'd had a hood and a tongue tie. So they're trying all sorts of tricks with it. Uh, but the visor's on, the visor's on tomorrow. And uh, Wayne Lorden on board, who has rode the horse twice before. And, uh, you know, I think this horse is well capable of popping up at a very, very generous price indeed. So that's the one there. It's called uh, No Speed Limit. Uh, incidentally, Wayne Lorden actually rode this horse at Baloo's Town a couple of outings ago, three outings ago, and finished third on it. And uh, so he knows the horse really well, and uh, I think this one's got a good chance. Number two, no speed limit, big prize, 12 to 1, and uh, carries a, a good solid each way back there. That uh, is in the 7.30. The final bit of these three, you've had Caesar's Comet, 25 to 1, no speed limit, 12 to 1. Uh, final one runs in the 8.30, which is the really is the very last race of the day. So that'll be a lovely way to uh, finish off, that's for sure. And the, the horse I like here is number three, another big price one. It's called Ballycommon Chapel. Ballycommon Chapel. Now, I've been waiting for this horse to go up in trip for some time. It ran in May up uh, nine and, well, just nine furlongs, really. Uh, too short a distance for it. Uh, that was at Gowran Park, 12 for 17. Couldn't win that day off that uh, trip. And next time up, they put it up to 10.7 furlongs or nearly 11 furlongs. Still wasn't far enough. Finished 6 of 14. That was at uh, Dundalk. And the same happened last time up when Chris Hayes was on it. It finished, uh, well, the horse needs further, basically. That was over the same trip. Too short, 6 of 14, looking on. Only got beat five length. Now then, tomorrow it's going over a mile and a half. Now, with all those things in its favour, plus it's got a valuable £7 claimer on board as well. Well, this horse, I think, is a, a very much a standing dish and very much a horse that needs consideration of winning this. Trained by Peter Klusky, not a household name at all, and uh, ridden by Robert Wheat, again, who claimed seven this, this time in this race. Uh, this filly has got a race within it off a mark of 54. It's come down from 57 last time up, uh, as I say, and going up in trip. See, it, it's, coming, it's coming down in the weights and going up in trip. And uh, when they pop up, they sort this thing. How could that win? Well, there's valid, valid reasons, that's for sure, because the stamina is what this horse is all about. And this filly's going to get it tomorrow. And uh, I'm going each way. Number three, Ballycommon Chapel. So I'll just run them through for you once more. Number three, Ballycommon Chapel is in the 8.30 at Dundalk. Caesar's Comet in the 6 o'clock at Dundalk. Real big prize, that one, but not without a chance. And no speed limit in the 7.30, again, at the Dundalk or weather track. Uh, another big and around about 12 to 1. Big chances, these three. Even if they're all placed, they'll be a really handy night. So I'm going to have the three singles each way. I'm going to have the doubles and trebles each way. And you never, never know. We might just come up with a real big night's action, a big profit, and a very exciting evening awaits. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock for Saturday. Bye for now.